Okay. Problem 18 of 10b and 12b problem 15. It says suppose that a, b, c are positive integers such that a over 14 plus b over 15 equals c over 210. Which of the following statements are necessarily true? Look, when we are working with integers, for example, a, b, c that are in, for example, positive integers or integers, uh, we don't like denominator, okay? So when we have, for example, this multiplied by 8. So here, because we have 14, 15, and 210, 210, I want to get rid of denominator. So I should multiply both sides by what? 210, because 210 is 14 times 15. So it will be 15a plus 14b equals c. Now, let's read the statements. If It says if GCD of a and 14 is 1, or b and 15 is 1, or both, then, then GCD of CN 210 is 1. Mm, there are statements that... Uh, so let, let me explain first. Look, for example, GCD of A and 14, if it is not 1. For example, means what? Let's consider this case first. If GCD of A and 14 is not 1. For example... Suppose A is an even number, 2q, then GCD of a and 14 is at least 2. So this one will be what even? Multiple of 2. This one is even, so c has to be even, okay? So if a and 14, they, if they have a common prime, the common factor, then left side will be multiple of that factor, so c should be also multiple of that factor, understood? Okay. So now by this point, uh, for example, I want to say third one is correct. If GCD of C and 210 is 1, if and only if GCD of A and 14 is 1, because if GCD of A and 14 is not 1, then we have problem like this. For example, A is even, then A is 2Q, B 2Q, then C is 2Q. So also B and 15, 1. If we have these things, again, we have same thing. Why? Because... So from here to here, we proved by contradiction because we said, for example, if it is not one, then like this, we reach contradiction. Similarly for this one. This one is correct. From right to left. Uh, again, I want to use contradiction. For example, suppose C and 210 is not one. Without loss of generality, C and 210, they have a common factor, like two. So if, for example, GCD of C and 210 is not one, Without loss of generality, for example, suppose um, C is, for example, 3K. Okay, so C is 3K. That prime, one of them has that prime, like this. This one is multiple of 3, 15. So multiple of 3, multiple of 3. So 14B also multiple of 3. Because if you take it to right side, right hand side will be multiple of 3. Because this and this, both of them are multiple of 3. So 14b multiple of 3, so b should be multiple of 3, but here we've considered that GCD of b and 15 is 1. Okay, so by the same way, you can reach contradiction. Uh, so this part is correct, so third condition is correct. Now I want to prove second condition. It says if GCD of CN210 is 1, then we know both of them. The GCD of both of them equals 1. It says this one is 1, or this one is 1, or both. This or and for example, it is logic. It is related to logic. When we say this one or this one, because we know both of them should be one. So it says then this one, one, or this one, one, or both of them. This or means this one, or this one, or both of them. Because we know both of them is one, it will be correct. Okay? So, it was related to logic. If you had any question about these things, you can send message to my WhatsApp number. And for first one. For first one, it says if GCD of A and 14 is 1, or B and 15 is 1, or both, then GCD of C and 210 is 1. No. Now I try to find a case that it satisfies this one, for example, one of them, but it doesn't satisfy the next one. So let's find 15A is 1. When we want to say one condition is right, we should find a counterexample, 210. 
Okay, it says GCD of A and 14 is 1, B and 15 is 1, or both, then GCD of C and 210 is 1. I'm sorry, here is C. Let me tell you a counterexample. I will explain again, second one, why it is correct by logic and the table, true-false tables. So here, for example, I want to find a thing that... It says if GCD of A and 14 or this or both of them is 1, then this GCD is 1. So I select A, for example, equal to, let's consider 7Q. Then left side will be what? 7 times 15Q plus 2B equals C. Okay. Okay, then I consider, for example, B is, oh, let's find an easier way. The first one, 7, I want to find counterexample. This GCD is not 1, but B and 15 is 1, so we consider B 1. Then C will be what? 15 times 7 is 105 plus 14. Will be what? 119, which is 7 times 17. So we know GCD of C and 210 is not 1. So it says if we satisfy this one, we know A, B, and 15 is 1, because B is 1. It satisfies the assumption because it says or, but it doesn't satisfy the sentence. So it is a contradiction counterexample. Let me explain second one by true-false here. For example, it is P, Q, P, or Q. True, 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 false. False, true, and false, false. In first three cases, it will be true, true, true. Last one, false. So when it says if GCD of CN 210 is 1, we know both of them will be 1. It says, okay, this one or this one or both. So it will be like this, P or Q. When both of them equals 1, true, true. Then P or Q also will be true. By this assumption, let's consider this one as idea 2, true, false tables. It's good to consider P and Q and P then Q. We have these things related. Let me tell you P. Let me complete this table for you to be able to use. Or and, and are so much easy in logic. We have one more thing, P then Q, P and Q. This one will be true, all other three will be false. P, Q, this one true, this one false, this one true, this one true. It is the definition, okay? But we can find some, for example, logics, some problems related to logics that, for example, help uh, those problems help you to understand these things better. But it is definition in logic, okay? You should memorize these things and it helps you to solve this one. If you want to solve the related problems, and uh -huh. now the correct choice is what? This one. Okay. If you want to learn um, problems in logics, want to solve more problems in combinatorics, feel or other topics, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description.